All right, here we are, the final week of 2014, and we are getting ready to do some racing here on this Tuesday evening. Chris Scala in the booth with you for Sim Racing Authority in their Gen 6 Series, presented by Llama Dog Racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, one of three straight Indianapolis Motor Speedway races you are going to see here uh, coming up within the next 24 hours. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's look at our starting lineup here. Derek Bordeaux going to start on the pole this evening alongside him, Ariadne, David Shutt, Nick Caressel. Mr. Beach, Bobby Cheney, Chris Scantlin alongside Justin Gable. Bobby Zielinski going to start alongside Trevor Bertelli. Meanwhile, the inside row decides not to go. And you see already contact between the five and the seven. Others in the field while this is going on. There's the 86 of Eric Brantley to 77, Jonathan Shipman. The 98 of Kyle McCormick, who finished second in this race back in season two. 79 to Jason Garrett, Nick Northrup, and Brian Ray. Going to round up the field as, again, we've already had a little bit of drama to get this thing started. As I mentioned, uh, some racing authority uh, set up their schedule where they had three straight Indianapolis races. So we're going to have a all Indy uh, day the next uh, couple of days. We're going to do this race tonight. And then uh, coming up tomorrow, we're going to do both the uh, Saturday Night Special and the PC Master Race Series races here at Indianapolis. So look forward to that uh, coming up here uh, tomorrow. Now we're going to be broadcasting those earlier in the day. Uh, so be aware that it will be uh, before the evening time. I actually have an event I have to be at for work at 10 o'clock. So they will be early evening, late afternoon broadcast. But right now, it's all about the Gen 6 Series, presented by Lama Dog Racing, eight, 80 miles, 200, uh, wow, 80 laps, 200 miles, as we get ready for the Brickyard. Sit back and enjoy it. I love the sound of the Brickyard with the Gen 6 cars. Just, I don't know, it is like surround sound and very loud. So here we go. Go on racing, some racing authority on For Racers Only TV. Off turn four, Derek Bordeaux going to lead lap one. David Shutt, second, Ariani, third, Mr. Beach, and Nick Russell, your top five. Everybody single file back to about there. We're Justin Gable going to go past the seven. One car up the track back there towards the back, look like Brian Ray. But you see the seven there, Chris Scala with a little bit of damage to that rear. That is after contact early in the race or before it even took off off the grid with the five car of Zelensky. Here comes Ariani and the Toyota Camry. Camry versus Camry. Give it to Ari. Barely. Wow. Nice slide there. Shot cutting him a break. Back here, Kyle McCormick going to make the pass on the seven. So, obviously, uh, Scala a little bit damage on that contact with the five or something. And he is uh, falling back pretty quickly. As I mentioned, uh, McCormick started or uh, finished second in this race last season to Marcus Richardson. Let's ride with him.
Field getting spread out. Everybody pretty much single file. First battles way back here. As Jason Garen actually falling back, it looks like. Ryan Ray, Jonathan Shipman here. And then Jason Garrett back there. Last car in the lead lap. Oh, Brian Ray in the wall. That'll kill his momentum. Here comes Northrop inside. The 86 of Eric Brantley. Brantley going to battle on that outside. Not going to give him the spot that easy. However, that inside line going to prevail. Northrop up a spot. And Zelensky on the move. Or uh, not Zelensky, but that's um, McCormick inside of Gable. Move the 98 up a spot. That is the seventh position. And then you see Bordeaux and that Budweiser 4 pulling away. Not like he did in the truck race. Remember the truck race? He was gone by now. And that truck race is on USRC truck race, not the SRA one. That one's to come tomorrow. There's Mr. Beach, the 22. The Beach inside SRA car. Look at Cheney going down to block Carussell. Not really block, more like just break the draft. Davis shot there in a 42. The Toyota Camry, let's ride with him. Let's take a lap around Indianapolis. He shut down to third position. Ariani starting to put some pressure on the four. Can the 19 get around him for the lead here as we complete lap number six already here at the Brickyard. Sim Racing Authority in the Gen 6 Series presented by Lama Dog Race. And this race actually was ran a week ago yesterday. Uh, but with the trip to New York this past weekend, I had to back up the broadcast. And speaking of broadcast, I will put this out over the air now. Uh, starting this Sunday uh, for the truck series, the PC Master Race Series, those races will now be live. Uh, I'm going to step in the broadcast booth and uh, do the race. I um, have had uh, some drivers talk to me and say, yeah, they liked it when I was in the booth live. So I'm going to try to compromise with those who said they want me racing. I'm going to race some, but I'm going to broadcast some. So we'll make it work. So Sunday night, PC Master Race Series, Sim Racing Authority race. I'll be back in the booth live. So as Eric Brantley has been in trouble, he's on pit road. An unscheduled pit stop for the 86. That was where that smoke was from. Kyle McCormick, the car in a move, that 98. He's worked past the 10, and now he's approaching Nick Caressel there in a Sour Patch car. Something I said shut or was it a comment about the compromise? The Bordeaux starting to Put a little distance on Airy, so it makes you wonder if that uh, arrow push is starting to kick in there. Airy got in the back of Bordeaux, not able to get that run. That's what I figured.
There's David Shutt in the third position. Shut the rock star driver you see in there in the comments. For those who are just joining us for the first time here tonight, some of the drivers are in the chat. As we ride with Beach.
sorry about that. Yes, no, I, I was well aware of being muted. I was actually on the phone with my boss just now about something for tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, so I think you've pretty much seen in chat what's going on. Derek Bordeaux's pulling away. He's in the lead. Ariadne in second. David Shutt. Bobby Chaney are top four. And then Justin Gable now fifth. Caresso Beach and Kyle McCormick here sixth, seventh, and eighth here at Indy. I was trying to keep the cameras going while I was on the phone uh, with just hitting buttons and stuff to try to keep you with what's going on in the races. Chaney almost gets the wall there off of four. This was awkward moments when you start broadcasting and all of a sudden people start calling you. It happens, I guess, apparently. Been caution free, though, so far. The first 17 laps, almost a quarter distance in. These cars go about oh, 30 laps or so on a tank of fuel here. And some people, I wouldn't be surprised in the 20 laps here, pull a strategy because if you're up here, maybe the first five, six, seven cars in this area here, you could probably pit and get out on the lead lap where if you're back here, as uh, Beach going to go by Caressel for fifth, or for sixth, I should say, like where Scala is there in a seven, or Zelensky or Northrop, those guys, if they try to pit right now, they would probably go a lap down. I should mention the tire fall off of these cars. Oh boy, it's a lot. starting to attack that Gummy Bears number 10, or Sour Patch, I should say. Gable trying to pull away in that 10, that Taylor Swift machine. And there's your top four right there. Well, four out of the picture. See the 17 of Trevor Bertelli on pit road. There is Derek, there your leader. He's led them all so far, all 17 laps. As I mentioned, tomorrow we will get the trucks and the B car in from Indy. Uh, we will do uh, the race. The first one will be around 4 o'clock Eastern time. We'll go on the air, and then we'll get the second race immediately following that. And then uh, the only thing we'll have left to uh, catch up on there will be the Gen 6 race in Chicago, which we'll broadcast Friday evening. As I mentioned last season, uh, these cars ran to Indianapolis. And the winner in that race was Marcus Richardson, who just made his return actually back. Uh, Marcus leading 48 out of the 80 laps in that race. Uh, and he outran Kyle McCormick uh, by some six tenths of a second. Connor Anton finished third. David Shunt, Kyle puts your top five in that race. Marcus uh, obviously not here. Speaking of Kyle Putz, he leads the points entering this race after Texas by some one single point over Ariadne. Bobby Cheney, four back in third. Derek Bordeaux, Alex Peck, your top five is Chris Gallas on pair in the seven. I think there's your first strategy right there. Lap 20, put the race backwards. And the seven on pit road, and we got a battle for third. in that old school Jeff Gordon 24 paint. Uh, Bobby trying to make it just like the uh, 94 Brickyard. 
and Gordon was able to kiss the bricks for the first time, which actually at that time they didn't kiss the bricks. More cars on pit road. Look over here. Brian Ray on pit road. Jonathan Shipman is in. Here's Nick Northrop on pit road. Well, people putting this race backwards, it looks like. Now the interesting thing is with the tire fall off here, let's see how quick some of these cars who came off pit road catch others. And you look right there, there's a seven right behind Cheney. Now these cars all did go a lap down because again, Bordeaux's got that big of a lead right now. Cheney getting that push off of David Shutt and you see the seven, look at the run, Scala's getting off a of four. There's fresh tires right there. Wilms go to bed. Where you see Bordeaux, Ariadne back here. And then the battle starting to shape up with Beach and Gable. Looks like Beach starting to catch the uh, 10 here. up there at the fresh tires and there's the sour patch number 13 nick caressel there's zolinski in the five and then way back here the 17 to Patelli. he's laps down shipman brian ray and then there's board oh the leader he's led all 24 laps so far here at the brickyard Look at the 19 starting to fall back into the clutches of Shutt and Cheney, and they're both coming to pit road. And you see the seven has gotten by Harry. And here we go, pit stops for the third and fourth place cars, lap 24. Tires have fallen off that much. Here we go, right side tires. We're gonna see four tires and fuel for both. You'll see if there's Bordeaux coming out of four right now. And here goes Shut and Cheney. They should be well ahead of him by the time they get going. Now this will work for a little bit because they'll have fresher tires, but then when Bordeaux comes to pit road, he'll have the fresher tires. There you see the leader right there off of coming into two. Bordeaux, if you remember the USRC truck race uh, a few weeks back here at Indy, led pretty much every lap in the race, but then he smacked the wall with about 10 to go or less than 10 to go, and Tyler Ducharme was able to catch him and uh, pass him for the win. Bordeaux looking to uh, definitely get payback in that race. Except on the Sim Racing Authority side. Now there you see Shut. there you see Cheney. And there's your leader Bordeaux and he's coming to pit road now. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna pit. Oh, I think he did everything to hit the inside wall and missed it. Justin Gable also coming to pit road in the 10. bringing that old school Budweiser paint to the pit road. Four tires and fuel for him.
And he gone. Check on Taylor Swift back here on pit road. So that will hand a lead to Ariadne. I believe. Hey, Arias pitted, so Beach is not a leader. So there's a 22, Ari on pit road right now. So he is your leader, and here comes the 19 in right now, the Toyota Camry. Slides past his pit stall a little bit there. You saw that. He had to back up. Let's see how his pit stop goes. You see the leaders right here on the front straightaway now. Four tires and fuel, and you see the difference in laps right there. Bordeaux by. There goes Shut. There goes Cheney. Those older tires going to cost him a little bit here. Gable able to get by Scala for position. Scala's been on uh, those tires for about eight laps already, and you see the difference. Ariadne blowing a cone away already. So right now the leader is, again, Mr. Beach, actually, in a 22. There he is. On the back straightaway there. Nick Caressel in second. And then it goes back to Derek Bordeaux, who's in third. These guys look like they're going to go all the way to the end of the pitch track. Oh, maybe not. Here comes Beach now. Caressel's going to stay out and lead a lap. Again, the next 24 hours you'll be seeing us here at Indianapolis pretty much uh, tonight. We'll uh, run this race, and then tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern time, 3 o'clock if you're Wilms. And uh, we'll have the truck series. We'll do the B-car first, the Saturday night special race from Indy, and then we'll come back with the trucks from Indy immediately following that. And then uh, we'll come back Friday after New Year's Day and have the Gen 6 race from Chicagoland. And once we get all that done, We'll be caught up again, which is good. The beach going to pull away. You see where he's going to come out right about what Scala it looks like. And Nick Caressel now on pit road, so let's cover the 13 stop. Rumor has it that uh, Caressel does actually use Sour Patch Kids as his pit crew. Four tires and fuel, and Gressel pulls away. And you see all the track position he is going to lose with holding off on pit road. Now, the good news here is Gressel will have the freshest tires out of everybody on the track. So let's see how much ground Nick can gain. So the lead is cycled through, and there's your leader now, Derek Bordeaux. As we are just seven laps from halfway already. Caution free here at Indy. And Bordeaux, your leader as we go through the field here. David Shunt running in second. Bobby Cheney running in third. Ariadne in the 19. He is fourth. Justin Gable there in the fifth position. Mr. Beach now up to sixth. Chris Scala seventh. Nick Northrop eighth. Nick Caressel ninth. So the Nick and Nick show eighth and ninth. 
And Bobby Zielinski there in the 10th position. 11th, Trevor Pertelli is on the lead lap still. Oh, thanks, Mr. Rasmussen. Brian Ray, he is in 12th, and he is the last car on the lead lap. I am now multi-channeled, apparently. <laughs> Hello all to uh, Rasmussen's Dutch friends. I thought he was German the whole time. Apparently he's from, De uh, from uh, Denmark, which we found out yesterday randomly is a city in South Carolina. <laughs> He's just waking up, boys. You see, really, everybody's single file and spread out. And that's the car right there I'm keeping my eye on. At 13, he's got the freshest tires, so how quick can he catch Northrop? We're going to find out here pretty quickly. Northrop was one of the cars that first pitted. Not if he knocks the wall down. No, he won't catch anybody. So I mentioned the next race is coming up. It's for Racers Only TV and Sim Racing Authority uh, Saturday night. The Saturday night special series at the Milwaukee Mile for 135 laps. That should be a fun one to watch and be a part of. Dover, Delaware Sunday, the 140 at Dover for the PC Master Race Series. As I mentioned earlier, that race will be live here on for Racers Only TV as I'll step into the booth and broadcast that race. And then at the Iowa Speedway Monday night. Also this week, and hopefully by the weekend, I'll be able to announce to you what we're going to do for February as I've been talking to everyone about a special event or two or three or four that we are uh, working on doing. Hopefully I can have that all finalized by the weekend and be able to make the announcement to you. So we uh, look to have that for you as we bring back some, not all, but some special events that we uh, hope to do for 2015 and also as I mentioned you're going to see a little bit more broadcasting here on For Races Only TV uh, throughout the next couple of months I know uh, we'll have a new series Friday nights and potentially another one coming uh, in the very near future so we're expanding not too much because I can't wear myself out but we are going to expand to where uh, you're going to see a lot of racing here throughout the days here on For Races Only TV we're still going to cover Sim Racing Authority USRC and Next year, as I said, is going to be a big year for a bunch of us. Yeah, I mentioned that Caressa would catch Northrop pretty quick. He's done past him. So 13 on the move. That's right with the Sour Patch Kid. Kressel's next car will be the 7 of Chris Scala there. There's Beach in the 22, Gable. And these two have been about equal distance here. Bobby Cheney, David Shutt. And the leader, Derek Bordeaux, he's led pretty much every lap when there's not been pit stops.
There you see the distance right there. Jonathan Shipman going to be the, or that's actually Pertelli in the 17 of the next car to go a lap down. Zolinski in the field against spread out. And you see the 13 is blown by Scala there in the 7. So Caruso up another spot in those fresh tires. Again, he pitted right about lap 30. So he's able to go to about lap 60 or so. Mr. Beach trying to chase down the 10 to Justin Gable. And Ariadne, oh, Cheney almost got the wall there if he did. But Ariadne's starting to catch the 24 just a little bit. I mean, not much, if any. As pit stop for the seven of Chris Scala, he is on pit road. This is about 10 laps earlier than what would be the scheduled pit stop to get you to the distance on fuel. So not sure there what the pit stop's all about. As we hit the halfway point, lap 40 complete. 40 to go, Sim Racing Authority in the Gen 6 Series presented by Lama Dog Racing here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Again, one of three Sim Racing Authority races here at Indy. You're going to see the next three to eight or two days. I mentioned tomorrow afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know what time that is in Denmark. That would be 10 p.m. Eastern, or 10 p.m. Den uh, Denmark time, apparently. So there you go. Denmark time, 10 o'clock p.m. for uh, Rasmussen and his boys there. Well, we'll have coverage of the Saturday Night Special Series from Sim Racing Authority. The B cars here for 70 laps tomorrow. And then the Truck Series for 60 laps immediately following. So what is Derek Bordeaux doing that we're not? Let's find out. See if we can figure it out. As you know, he pulled away in the truck series like this too. So he knows something about this track that we all don't. This is now David Shutt. And I did mention Ari was catching Bobby, and you see he has gotten closer a little bit. Should mention Scala comes out 11th. He is a lap down now, and you see the seven right there on pit road. And apparently that was a scheduled pit stop on his end. He um, 
was trying to stay on the fresher tires to try to get a better track position in the end there in the seven. So, but right now he's a lap down and he needs everyone to pretty much pit again. And then a caution to come out. Meanwhile, Ariani has caught the 24. And now we'll see a battle for the third position. See if Bobby puts up any kind of fight. And the answer is going to be no. Aerie's going to go right by him. So Bobby's going to let him go. Aerie going to take the third position away. And now we'll see if Aerie can catch David Shutton at 24. Here you see Mr. Beach and Justin Gable. Beach is calling him for a position. This will be a battle for the fifth spot right here. The 10 and Sounds like somebody else has come off pit road. Maybe not. They're just going around Shipman there. Cheney and Harry are. And you see Scallet of Fresh Tires has caught the 22. Now, if you have flashbacks to the Texas race in the Gen 6 series, Scallet with Fresh Tires passing the 22 didn't go well. Another car coming to pit road, that is Pertelli. I called him Shipman again. Pertelli in the 17 going to pit road. As we are coming up on lap 50, so those cars who pitted at lap 20, you're gonna see those come to pit road here in the next couple laps. As Beach to the bottom, gonna pass the 10. And Scala gonna go with him. While Ariadne's starting to pull away just a little bit from Cheney. And you see Shot has stretched that distance out. He's got about a half straightaway or so back on the 19 there for second. Let's we'll see if Gable's able to get back to Beach to fight him here. You see Gable with a good run down the back straightaway there. Let's see what happens. Scala's had a hard time passing the 22.
Meanwhile, there is your leader, Derek Bordeaux. He has dominated so far. He's led all but the green flag pit stops pretty much, which is about three or four laps. When will we see the four come to pit road? Because pretty much from here on out, you can pit and go the rest of the way on, on fuel. Bobby Zielinski on pit road in the five. Comes in for his stop, four tires and fuel. Bobby Chaney on pit road in a 24. Meanwhile, she sees Gallo going by beach finally. go four tires and fuel and you see the Jimmy John's car of Nick Northrop on pit road you see Bordeaux putting Cheney a lap down Northrop going to pull away Caruso now on pit road in the 13. You can't see him through the pylon. He'll be here in about five seconds. Four. Okay, make that three. Long pit road here at Indy. Carrasco going to pull away. Everybody else is off pit road. There's Pertelli. There's Northrup. Zolinski on the track again. And there's your leader, Derek Bordeaux. Bobby Chaney he is the first car. Lap down there in seventh. There's David Shutt in the second position. Ariadne there in third. Beach fourth. And you see Carrasso's gotten by the 10, but remember, Carrasso is a lap down now. So the question again, when does Bordeaux come to pit road? And the answer is not yet. Lap 55, 25 to go. You see Carrasco's gone by Beach with those fresh tires. And as a matter of fact, this is going to be a battle for position right here with Carrasco and Scala 7th and 8th. If Nick can get to him. There's no reason why he probably can't because he's got a lot fresher tires. Ariadne, David Shutt on pit road. And they both pull away four tires and fuel. And there you see Bordeaux coming out at one.
while they are driving everything to try to stay on that lead lap. Look at this mess. Shot with the block on Bordeaux. They're going to stay on the lead lap. Cheney with a move. Oh, and there he's loose. He's spinning. Out. Gable and Beach are on pit road right now. Let's see where they come out at. There's Gable getting off pit road now. Beach is still in there getting tires. Let's see what happened to the 19 here. He had just got off pit road with the tires. And what a move by Chaney to get back on the lead lap here. Oh, here he just gets loose, and I, I, I don't know. I don't think David got him. I haven't found a good camera angle yet, but let's run on board with Shot. I want to see if Shot made contact. I don't think he did. If it was, it was slight. All right, a little bit there, yeah. He went to caution. I believe Shut stayed on the lead lap. We'll have to see if he holds him behind the pace car or not here. Yep, we're going to let him go or yeah, around Bordeaux. So Shut will stay on the lead lap. And Ariani, the reason for the first caution here at the Indy. Everybody got the. Catch up is going to be a long way back to the pace car. We'll have to see how everybody cycles out now on pit road. So it looks like Gable is able to stay on the pit on the uh, lead lap. Beach, it doesn't look like it. Now the call will be who gets the lucky dog because Beach right now is the first car lap down, but he's on pit road. I think the seven might get the lucky dog here. Let's see. Here's Bordeaux to pit road. The rest of the field still catching up. It will be the seven getting the lucky dog. It's an unfortunate situation there for Mr. Beach. And the leader's all coming to pit road. Gable going to stay out because he just came off pit road. So Chaney is in. He's on the lead lap. David Shun in on the lead lap. I think there's going to be five cars when it's over with. We'll get this all cycled out as Shun is on pit road. As we'll fast forward ahead here, and it looks like you're going to see Beach, Airy, Caressel, Northrup, and Zelensky all take wave arounds and will be on the lead lap. You see all them driving away. So they'll be back on the lead lap. Everybody on the track will be on the lead lap. Bordeaux is going to be the leader. Bobby Chaney, David Shutt, Justin Gable, 
and Chris Scala going to be the top five, I believe. And I should stand corrected here because Pratelli is still 11th one lap down. So one car will be a lap down. And he'll start there on that outside line. Let's see if anybody's got anything for Bordeaux. We will have 21 laps to go when we go racing here at Indy. And you see there's the wave rounds just getting up here. And there goes Bordeaux. Back to racing. Bordeaux starting to pull away a little bit. You saw the battle with Shutt and Chaney. Shutt gets second. Gable was underneath of Bobby. Couldn't get third. So Bobby's going to fall in third. Gable, Scally, your top five. Mr. Beach, those six cars have fresh tires. The others, where you see Ariadne, Nick Caressel. Well, actually, Ariadne's got fresh tires, too. You know, he, got, uh, he spun on them. His tires are pretty fresh. Caressel, Northrup, Zelensky, those guys, not so much fresh tires. And here's that battle for seventh. And it's going to wrestle goes by Airy. Lap 63, 17 complete. Again, tomorrow we invite you to come join us for a little New Year's Eve. Sim Racing Authority Racing will have the Saturday Night Special Series, the B Cars from Indy, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. And then following that, the Truck Series, the PC Master Race Series from Sim Racing Authority will immediately follow that. So make sure you come join us here for Races Only TV. We'll have both races for you. I'm only going to work a half day tomorrow as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Still got to get up early in the morning, but then I got to do a later broadcast tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. Uh, downtown, actually, for the New Year's kickoff. So, unfortunately, won't be live with you guys for New Year's, unfortunately. But uh, I do want to wish everybody a happy New Year while we have an opportunity to say that. And hopefully everybody had a good Christmas and got everything they wanted. Mr. Beach going to poke his nose underneath the seven for position. See if he can clear him. He does. So move Beach up to fifth. Oh, and Beach, show oh boy. In the wall goes Beach. <laughs> I think he missed his mark. Caresso goes by. Airy going by. Shut and Cheney trying to get Bordeaux all he can handle. As we have now 15 laps to go from Indy.
Shunt giving it his all, trying to get to him. Chaney trying to do the same. It looks like equal, equal distance pretty much all the way around here between the top five. And in this battle back here from six back to ninth, a pretty good one back here. The battle of the I don't have fresh tires brigade. Of course, these guys looking for another caution, but there's only been one so far in the first 65 plus uh, laps. Northrop gonna go inside of Ariadne. See Caruso breaking the draft as Adi is going to hold off Northrop. Nice job there by the 19. Barry was a uh, top three car earlier, had that last caution come out, and I believe his tires are definitely feeling the effects of that spin. on the leaders everybody's still pretty much the same distance apart matter of fact Bordeaux has stretched it a little bit looks like on the 42 to watch this battle. This is about the closest race right here, 6th through ninth. As you see, Beach has gotten by Northrop, who was trying to get by Airy just a few minutes ago. And now they're starting to stretch it a little bit on him. Appreciate all the uh, drivers and viewers watching us this evening. Here on Fraser's Only TV is Ari goes in the inside of Crestle, who's going to fight back on the outside. Ari getting loose on the bottom. Here comes Beach. Seventeen of Pertelli making an unscheduled pit stop. Are you going to keep fighting back? You see Scala in the fifth position, Gable fourth, Bobby Cheney there in third. Davis shot, and there is your leader, Derek Bordeaux, as I've mentioned, just dominant here in Indy. As we are coming to eight laps to go this time by. Oh, shut at the wall. We'll see how that affects the 42. Don't 
see too much damage on that run. I guess that right side up by the right front there is a little beaten up. We'll see if Cheney is able to catch that 42 now. to a chance to do this tonight so let's do it the racers only TV blimp cam looking over the brickyard crossing golf course down in the south to make that the north shoot Next time by, there will be five laps to go. And you see here, this battle has kind of cycled itself out. Beach has gotten around Caressel. Everybody else is kind of spreading out. Again, tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, make sure you do join us again. If you're someone who raced in the Saturday Night Special or the PC Master Race Indy race, we'll have both of them for you tomorrow at 4 Eastern. Here on For Racers Only TV, join us then. We get ready to kick off the new year. That shot way down at the bottom of the track there. He's trying to break the draft of Cheney or something there. Either that or you probably throwing a water bottle out the window, one of the two. But only one caution so far in this race. Ariadne off of turn three, just off pit road. Trying to battle and stay on the lead lap. Cheney made a very bold move and a very nice move and got back on the lead lap. Ari lost it off of three and him and Shot slightly came together. And that's been the only caution in this race. Unless something catastrophic happens to Bordeaux, it looks like on the Sim Racing Authority side, he'll get a little revenge from that race at Indy a few weeks ago. else pretty much spread out Gable fourth Scala fifth there's Beach Nick Caressel Ariadne and then Northrop unfortunately these guys back here not going to get that caution they needed to get back on the fresh tires with these guys in the top five Two laps to go this time by. Yeah, 
Entering this race, Bordeaux is eight points back in third. If the race were to end right now, which it's coming up on the white flag, if he can hold on, he would be tied for the point lead with Bobby Chaney. So let's see how this final lap's gonna go. As you see, Bobby kinda edging in on shut, but here we go, final lap going to be out this time by for Derek Bordeaux. 2.5 miles to go. Shot trying to break that draft of Cheney. Oh, shut up the track a little bit there. Up the, well, he got tight there too. Here comes Cheney. And that shut kind of pushed there again a little bit. I think he's trying, I think he's trying Bordeaux's line. That's what I think he's trying to do there, if I remember correctly. Nonetheless, Bordeaux, he's gonna get revenge and win at Indianapolis. Battle for second, look at this. At the line, Cheney got him. So Bordeaux wins at Indianapolis after that dominant race a few weeks ago where he led all the laps and wasn't able to pull the win off. Now he's able to dominate the race and get the win. Let's go back and watch that race for a second. I think that's exactly what was happening was Shutt was trying to run Bordeaux's line. He said that, uh, if I remember correctly, he saw him going right and then left into the corner. There's the right and there's the left. And you see how Shutt would just push up the track. And then Cheney just got one. Well, they, well, that didn't help either there. Shot gets loose off a of three. And then here's the race to the finish. Let's take a look at your final results. Derek Bordeaux, your winner. Bobby Cheney second, David shot third. I, look at that, nine one thousandths. Justin Gable fourth, and Chris Scala fifth, Beach sixth, Garesso seventh, Northrop eighth, Bobby Zielinski ninth, Ariadne gonna get tenth, Trevor Pratelli eleventh, Brian Wright twelfth, Shipman thirteenth, McCormick gonna finish fourteenth, uh, Jason Garrett fifteenth, Brantley sixteenth, and Ontario and, and Pops not able to start the race this evening. Once again, congratulations to Bordeaux on the win. Here is your point standings entering the race at Chicagoland, which we'll have for you Friday. Uh, Cheney and Bordeaux tied for the point lead. Ariadne third in points. Gable and Scally, your top five. Northrop puts Shut, Shipman, and Caressel, your top ten. Bordeaux picking up his first series win this evening. All right, it's going to do it this evening. Uh, I'm going to take off here, and I'm going to come back tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern. As promised, we'll have the race from Indianapolis, the B-Cars, the Saturday Night Special Series, and we'll have the PC Master Race Truck Series uh, from Indianapolis tomorrow, starting at 4 o'clock Eastern. So make sure you do set your time accordingly in case you don't know, and you're not on the East Coast or in the Eastern time zone like I am. Make sure you look at your random time zones where you are and just see where you are compared to the eastern time zone where I am. So uh, I know in Denmark it's 10 p.m. Uh, let's see, Central, that would be 3. Utah would be 2. If you're in Cali, it's 1. If you're out in Hawaii, I believe you're 5 hours behind now, so that would be 11 a.m. So there you go. Enjoy yourself, guys. Make sure you go to simracingauthority.com and uh, sign up for their series if you haven't already or if you're uh, new on the channel tonight. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.